These notes will get us started using IDLE. The first thing to note about Python 3's IDLE, there are two different parts to the program. The first part is the interpreter. This is the program that actually runs your code. The second piece of software that we are interested in using is the integrated development environment called IDLE. This is the tool we will use to write and test our code. This is the interactive shell on my desktop. Here is the Python interpreter on my desktop. We will be working with the interactive shell. So I'm going to launch that. Once it's installed, you will be able to launch it by clicking on the idle Python 3. Notice the arrows. When you see the three arrows, you know that you're working in the shell. Anything that you type into the shell, Python will respond to. How does it respond? Well, behind the scenes, it's running the Python interpreter automatically for us. So whatever I type, it is going to respond to. It'll evaluate what we type and respond. Now notice the difference here. If I type hello world inside the print statement, it prints hello world without the quotes. So the difference is the first line of hello there is interpreted and echoed back where the print hello world is a function that it executes and displays whatever we told it to display on the screen. If I say print 4 plus 3, it prints the result. So whenever you want to test code out and practice with Python statements, the interactive shell is a good way to go, especially when we're first getting started with the language. But once we start developing programs, we don't do it in the interactive shell because it won't save the work. To store and save programs, you're going to need to click on File, New File, and open up what's called the Python Editor. Now we always want to document our programs and we can do that at the top by typing three single quotes and then some information. You should always have the name of the programmer, the date, and a description. This is the minimum documentation you should have at the top of your programs. So our first program will be Hello World. And just as we saw on the interactive shell, I will print Hello World. Now notice this is green because it's still in the comment section. So I wanted to end the comment section after description. Now the print is a purple color and it's being interpreted as an, an a statement that Python will execute. Now we have the interactive shell and the editor next to one another. Let's examine them closely. Again, the interactive shell has the three arrows so you'll know that you're working in the shell and the editor does not have any arrows. And notice when we typed print hello world it did not echo back to us. Also note at the top in the title bar it lists the name of the program and we haven't saved this program yet so it's untitled. I'm going to try to run this program and before I can run it Python will tell me that I need to save it. So I'll say OK. Now you should find a folder where you'd like to work in. I'll just name it Hello World 
and I'll let Python add the .py extension to indicate it's a Python program. It immediately saved that program and ran it in the interactive shell. So my Hello World program was run here in the interactive shell producing the output Hello World. The program is actually run by the interpreter and the shell inside the integrated development environment sits on top of that interpreter and automatically invokes it when we run the program. Notice now in our editor window we have a name for this program. It shows us the full path name to our hello world.py program. If I make any changes to this and I want to run it again, Idle will tell me I need to save the program before I run it. I'll say OK. And I run it again and notice we still get the same result, hello world. It did interpret 4 plus 3 and the answer to that would be 7. We never printed out that result. So we're not going to see that result. It was evaluated. Every line of code will be evaluated in our program. But if we don't say print, we're not going to see the result. One more time. Let's put that inside the print statement. And our print statement is what's called a function. So we need to use a set of parentheses and add whatever it is we want printed to be inside. OK, and now we see hello world and 7. Let's recap. Here is the picture of the interactive shell. Remember, it will always have the arrow prompts. Here is a picture of our editor window. You will recognize this because the name of the file will be in the top of the title bar. And notice here, it's untitled, which means this hasn't been saved yet. No arrow prompts. When we use the interactive shell, each instruction executes immediately. Python evaluates it and gives you a result. It's a once and done. When you close the shell, all the work you typed in there is gone. It's useful for trying and testing code because it'll give us immediate feedback. The saved programs we do inside the idles editor. The lines of code are not executed until you run the module. It will automatically run in an idle interactive shell and if one isn't already open it will open one. If you don't print results you're not going to see them. It will evaluate but it will not print unless you tell it to print onto the screen. Any changes have to be saved. You can do this with keyboard shortcut control S and then when you want to run the module you can use function key 5. The program file can be run as many times as you'd like. You don't lose what you have worked on. And you can and should include comments or documentation at the top of each program file. Any questions? Post them to the open discussion forum. Happy Python coding!